Hey everyone, it's Dolphin Treasure here, and welcome to this week's little gaming video. Welcome to yet another Markiplier fan game. This one is called Mark's Pilgrimage. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this game is entirely about. All I know is that he just goes on adventure, and based on the music that I'm hearing, it sounds really somber. Like, it sounds really sad. Um, but I don't know exactly what to expect, but I think someone may have gone missing and he has to go find him or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. But let's go ahead and jump right into it and see what we are in store for. I am actually very curious. All of the music in this game is royalty free. All thanks to Ben Sound, the terms of use, I say I give credit. Okay. Chapter Zero, The Prelude. Mark couldn't clearly remember what happened in the last couple of hours. All that he could feel was a splitting headache. His vision was blurry, and all he could hear was a ringing. Eventually, his ailments faded, and he came to. Okay. Oh, there we are. Whoa. We are in a very closed-off little room. Ooh, and I really like that sprite. That is really, really cute. Very nice. Oh, my head. Huh? What? what where am I? Hmm, I'm getting septiscape feels all over this place, or is that just me? I don't know. <laughs> God, can you believe it's been more than a year since I played that game? Holy crap, I missed that game. I need to go revisit it. <laughs> oh, where am I? Am I in a hospital? Oh, not again. I don't think you're in a hospital. Were you just walking on the bed, sir? No, that's okay. I like to walk on the bed, too. Sometimes I even like to jump into bed, because mm -hmm, I'm a child. What can I say? Anyway. <laughs> Moving on. This doesn't look like the hospital. Perhaps I should get up and have a look around. That would actually be a very good idea. Oh, that was very dramatic. I just got out of bed and all of a sudden I heard a... <laughs> and then I'm out of bed. <laughs> okay, that was very dramatic. Let's see. Hmm, this note seems important. Perhaps I should read it. Well, maybe you should. Hey, Mark, it's me, Mariko. You know, the creator of this game. We haven't met yet, but I... but we need to talk. The bag on the table is full of supplies that will help you start your little adventure. My home is east of the town and you cannot miss it. Okay, so I gotta go east when I get out of this place? Alrighty, not a problem, and I'll grab that little sack there. Don't worry, this isn't it. This is. Blah, blah, cannot speak. Don't worry, this isn't that urgent. You can take your time, but I am extremely. But I'm not extremely patient. I think you should keep a good pace, but no pressure. Hmm, hmm, so either something really important is going on, or you're just demanding. I don't know. We'll find out. Also, don't forget to equip the equipment that I gave you. It doesn't happen automatically. So, I'll see you soon. Mariko. Uh, uh, well, um, much of a fourth wall breaker, I guess. Oh, well, I should get the stuff and get going, shouldn't I? Yeah, I guess you should. That, that would probably be the best bet at this moment. Cursor, get out of the way, please. Okay, hmm, I hope this was the bag that he was talking about. Bag's contents obtained. Okay, good. Let's see. Um, alrighty, I can finally go. Alright, but before we do that, let's go ahead and equip you, sir. Alright, what do we got? Okay. Alright, uh, was that all I got? Was just a long knife? Nothing else? Yes? Okay. Alrighty. Oh, is there a safe... No, it doesn't look like there's a save. Okay, not a problem. So I don't even know exactly how long this game is going to be, but... Oh, hi! Aren't you really cute and pretty? Oh, you're awake! I found you unconscious outside. I just had to take you in and make sure that you were okay. You are so cute. I love your red eyes. They're very cute. Anyway, did, did I mention she was cute? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned she was cute. <laughs> Let's see. I was unconscious? That explains the splitting migraine that I got. Thank you for helping me out. I really appreciate it. And you're really cute. <laughs> oh, no problem. This is the inn, though, so if you want to stay again, make sure you have a few coins on you. I won't charge you this time, though. That would just be mean. We aren't currently accepting visitors at the moment, though. Well, thank you very much. And uh, I must be off, though, so uh, uh, goodbye. Oh, okay. I'll see you around. All right, perfect. Anything in here that I need to know about? Let's see. Everybody knows that if there's a bookmark in a book, you do not disturb it. That is actually very true. Me, personally, I could go either way, but if I don't have a bookmark, then I just take the page and I flip it. <laughs> like the, the little edges of the page at the top, and I just go boop, and I flip it over. Blasphemy, how dare I? You should see how my grandfather reads books. He will, like, bend those bitches in half. 
<laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, damn, you broke its spine. That's actually kind of funny. Okay. The shelves are packed with all kinds of toys and they don't interest you at all. Okay, not a problem. I just want to make sure that there isn't anything really significant that I needed. There are a lot of crates, 19 to be exact. Look, guys, I can count. <laughs> well, good for you. Now, how? Oh. Okay, there was no indication that there was a door there, but that's fine. That's fine. Ooh, this is really pretty. Wait, what is this? Is this a frozen lake? Huh, that is really pretty. Let's see. The last time I disrespected a statue, it turned out to be a demon. Nice, demon lady. Uh, please don't send me to hell again. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that video. Oh, hello, baby. I remember when he did that. That was funny. Ooh, and this is a broken statue. Huh. Looks like someone doesn't like demons. Yeah, yeah. was it you? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, you say the same thing. Okay, what's in here? I'm just walking into people's houses. Don't mind me. I'm just, you know, here to invade your privacy. So you could be, like, cooking dinner. You could be, you know, having some quality time <laughs> by yourself or with a loved one. And I'm just walking straight into your house. Uh, you know, feel free to kick my ass anytime. You look like a male peacock, by the way. Oh, cute. Oh, I see that you're okay. I saw you out in the forest, and I think if I haven't left you any longer that you might have frozen to death. Um, thank you very much. I owe you one. So you're the one that took me, but wait, hold on a second. I thought the girl in the inn found me. Wait, huh? I'm confused. Okay, anything curious about this sink? Do I need to know anything about this sink? Uh, this is a sink. What do you mind me to say? I don't know. There could be something in the drain that you might need. You never know with these little games. I mean, the developers really like to hide all the little trinkets and little Easter eggs and stuff. Like, just in the most random places. You can't leave any stone unturned in these fan games. Let's see. Ooh, that's still hot. I can feel the heat coming out of the oven. Is that a euphemism for something? <laughs> anyway. Well, this isn't meat. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Hey, I really like meat just as much as the next person, but not everybody has to like meat, Mark. Sorry. That's just how it goes. Let's see. Hmm, I would sleep, but that's someone else's bed. Yeah, that would be just a little creepy. Okay, let's go ahead and walk out. And let's see what else we can find. This is a really, really pretty environment, by the way. I really, really like this. What, is this a cemetery? Whoa. In memory of my past, I am no longer the same man. So, did somebody just literally bury their past? You can't do that. How, how, how in the world are you able to do that? Please tell me your secrets. I want to know your secrets. This is cool. Let's see some firewood. Hmm, seems like the creator really needs to keep warm. Well, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Ah, you've arrived. Uh, wouldn't want to keep the creator waiting. You're the creator? Of this game? Ooh. Okay, I'm not touching anything. I can't walk forward, I can't move. Okay. I have something I need to explain. There's a man named Luca going around and kidnapping people. The worst part is that he's kidnapping people in massive quantities. Um, do you know why? I'm afraid not. We need to find out why and stop the man. Um, how? Okay, this is gonna sound slightly cliche, but there are five crystals that can destroy the barrier around his residence. We won't be able to get to him when it's still up, so we need to deal with that first. And then what? We go in, silence Luca, and rescue the hostages. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I guess I can do that. Um, huh? What is it? This seems really simple. There's something else, isn't there? Why? You're the creator of the game. Why do you need me? Um, why? Uh, uh. He took Sylvia, my wife. I don't know what happened to my daughter. I fear that she has suffered the same fate. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Ever since they were taken, I found it difficult to use my power. And their absence has been holding me back. Alrighty, well, I'll help you. I'll get your wife back, and I'll find your daughter, and I'll make Luca pay for all this, and I'll make sure you get your dog back, and I'll make sure you get your truck back, and I'll make sure that- Okay, sorry, wrong wrong time. Wrong mood, wrong mood, wrong mood for this joke. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's what happens when you play a country song backwards, by the way. You get everything back. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah! Well, what the hell? That was my reaction! Mariku? What? Ah, oh, damn it, he's out. Well, what the f what the heck happened? Well, it was only a matter of time. Wait, 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 who are you? 
I believe the man called me Luca. Really? You're kind of early. I don't see anybody. What's happening? I beg to differ. I think I'm perfectly on time. <laughs> Whoa, the, uh, okay. Oh, Marika? Mariko? Sorry? Oh, oh, God. I'm sorry, Mark, but now Luca is in control. What the fish? <gasps> Dude! That is badass looking! Oh, wow, that's awesome. Mariko's act antecedent antecedent emerged okay sorry that was kind of difficult for me to read okay well fantastic wait do do i have a say in this i don't have any magic i um okay he only took two damage all right well what happens if i just attack and uh slash okay what happens if i just attack and slash and slash and attack well whoa, three damage no no not cool bro not cool bro or maybe I'm supposed to lose? Maybe? Let's see, miss, and Mark took no damage. Okay, well that's good. Um, am I supposed to take you out or am I supposed to lose? I don't know. Sometimes these these are very misleading. Okay, I don't, ooh, what's a, uh, um, yeah, okay. Let me use that on myself. There we go, perfect. Okay, great. And then I'm gonna do this. Oh, she. He keeps punching me in my pretty face. I don't want to get punched in the pretty face. God, you are freaky deaky looking. How many eyeballs do you need, sir? Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to lose? I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to lose or not. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Mark, you're a dead man. Please tell me this is the end. Oh, it's the end for me. Okay, I wasn't meant to. I wasn't meant to win. Okay. Why? Why? You know why. Power. All the power is mine. I am now a god. And there's no one that can stop me. Not even you. Oh, blah, 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 flash warning. Oh, come on. Why are you so slow? Um, after a while, you learn to appreciate the world, and I just slow down to take it in all. Oh, <laughs> that's boring. Come on, let's go. I'm so super excited. Wait, do you smell smoke? Huh? Oh, that's a really pretty name. Oh no, Tolan, help me put out the fire. Uh, what do you think I'm doing? Marika, what what happened? Wait, didn't that guy come over here? Yeah, he did. Maybe he did it. I don't think so. He looked like a good guy to me. I think he's innocent. Oh, I hope he's innocent, but he could have. Oh no, don't you go spreading rumors about moi. Wait, what is this? Wait, wait a minute, that was it? Thank you for playing. This is simply a prelude to the actual game that is currently being made. Uh, please be patient because Mark will return. Oh! Oh! Okay, so that was just the beginning of the whole thing. Wow, I didn't realize that. I forgot that it was going to be that short. Oh, well, that's really cool. I didn't know that it was going to be a demo, but wow, I was actually really interested in the story so far. Um... That's actually really... Okay, that was actually really nicely well-polished. I mean, even if it was just a prelude, um, if you're currently working on a full release of this game, I would highly encourage you to keep continuing this because I actually got really interested in the story. Um, you know, because it sounds like Mark is going to be framed for something and Mariko... Um, we, we, I want to know what his, like, real intentions are, and I really want to know, like, who's possessing him if, you know, if it's, like, Dark Applier or, or somebody, um, and I want to know what, where all the hostages are and what those, who those hostages are, you know, like, if they are, like, a metaphor for Mark's subscribers or something like that, or if this was a dream or just something, because this is actually really intriguing, and the level was actually really pretty uh, to look at, and it was really well mapped out, very short and very simple. Um, and the, um, oh, I don't, I don't know if there was a way for me to beat that boss or not. I honestly don't know. I'd have to, hold on a minute, I gotta look that up real quick. Just to be 100% sure, because I thought I saw maybe something about it. Hold on, let me find out, because I am curious. Let me see what else I can do then. I'm curious. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. And it looks like this game was made a year ago or came out a year ago. 
Hmm. So, I mean, it's it's more recent than a lot of the fan games that are that I have seen, and there are a lot of fan games that are actually in the works right now, which is really nice. But I'm gonna see what else I can do around around town, um, if anything. Yeah, I gotta read the note first. Blah blah blah. And there we go. Okay. All right, got it, got it. Okay, so I ha I actually had to do a little bit more. So I had to equip myself with a weapon and the cloth. Okay, got it, got it. All right, is there anything else I could do in here? Let me see. No, I don't want to get into bed, just no. I think I know what I have to do. Okay, is there anything else? I can go now. I'm just wasting the time. The creator of the world is getting impatient. Okay, all right, that's fine. Okay, oh, you're awake. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here we go. Actually, before I go, I wanted to compliment you on your beautiful eyes. That's what I've been saying. You are pretty, okay? I just wanted to let you know that. Oh, oh why, thank you. You're quite the gentleman. Okay, anything else I could do? Can I talk to you again? Actually, your eyes are quite big. Um, is this man trying to flirt with me? Uh, did I say something wrong? Okay, anything else? Wait, are those cat ears real? Uh, yep, I was born with them. I can hear as well. I can hear very well, and I also am a good sniffer, and I'll always land on my feet. D um, okay. <laughs> okay, anything else? Can we talk to you again? So, why is a cat girl like you out here in the middle of nowhere? Um, actually, I was just minding my own business when something knocked me out, and when I woke up, I had a splitting headache, and all my senses were out of whack. When I recovered from that, I was in the middle of a snowy forest, and I was going to freeze to death, but then a man came along and helped me. In fact, the men's next door right now. If you want to, you can go talk to him. I'll consider it. Now I really have to go. It's been a nice chat, but let's do it again later. <laughs> yeah, you better get going. Okay, anything else? You better get going. Oh, it's official. We have to get going. Okay, let me go ahead and just tap on everything. Okay, before I do anything. Are you going to say the same thing? Yes. Okay, all right. Um, anything here? If I was a cat, I would really want to play with these tassels. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree. Okay, can I witness or view anything out here? Anything at all? Anything? No? Okay, all right. Um, that's nice. Okay, so this one is broken. So it looks like someone doesn't really like demons. And you say the same thing, right? Yeah, you do. Okay, and uh, do I need to say an It's a fluffy bush! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help it. My brain just went to weird places. Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh. No. Stop, Aaron. Stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. Get the, just. Mm, I should have stuck my hand to the fire. That could possibly hurt. Yeah, maybe just a tad, just a little bit. You know, just, just. Just a smidge? Who knows? Who knows? You can try it. Not really. Don't do that. I don't get to burning yourself. Okay, anyway. Let's see. Don't mess with a man who is more prepared than you. Yeah, that is very true. You never want to bring nothing to a knife fight, okay? Okay. Oh, I see that you're okay. I saw that you were in the forest and uh, you might have frozen to death, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me talk to you again. Um, About the girl next door. Oh, my fiance? Yeah, she's cute, isn't she? She must be a nice fiance. Yeah, a little bit of a scaredy cat, but I still love her. <laughs> Who are you calling a cat person a scaredy cat? Excuse you, I'll have you know that cats are very brave. Except when you put pickles near them for some weird reason. But okay. <laughs> um, How about that scar? It looks like a nasty cut. Oh yeah, I got it while I was protecting my fiance from some kind of beast. The darn thing looked like a dog, but with the body of a human. And his claws were like daggers. Darn thing almost killed me, but it got away, and I fear the day will return. But I think I can kill it. I think it's invincible. I think it's not invincible? Did I read that wrong? I'm stupid. Sorry. Uh, let's hope that it doesn't return then. Okay. Wait. Wings? Yeah, I could fly. Damn beast clipped my wings, but now I can't. If your wings hadn't been clipped, would you still fly? Heck yeah, I would. I, I used to love flying. I used to fly all around the city, and I had to leave them. The price of living was getting a little too pricey. Even my high-paying job at the house builder was not enough. I decided to leave and find a place to make a town, and I only arrived here about a half a year ago, so I haven't made much progress. Oh, dude, that's really sad. Oh, I wish you the best of luck. Huh, thanks. 
Anything else? So why would you build a town on a frozen lake? Wouldn't the ice eventually melt? Well, that's the thing. Prior to leaving the city, I had been watching this spot for about three years, and the lake is always frozen. Even in the summertime? Yeah, I even set up a campfire on the ice and didn't even slightly melt. I feel like it's magical, and I decided to make a town on the ice. Also, there's this really kind person that's just east of here. I discovered his house while I was chopping down trees for wood. Oh, I remember his name is Marika, right? Uh, yeah. Yup, he, uh, he came into your room to give you a note and some items and said that you had to do something for him. You had to do something for him. Yeah, I should probably go over to his house now. Shouldn't keep him waiting. Alrighty, come back here when you're done. I'd like to spend more time with you. Heck, I don't even know your name. My name is Alex, and the girl's name is Talon. 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 Okay. Well, sure, I'm up for that, and my name's Mark. Alrighty, Mark, well, it's best that you be on your way. Anything else I could do? Uh, let's catch up soon. Let's catch up soon. Well, you took your sweet time. Yes, I did. I was getting to know the people. Of course. I okay, this is where I couldn't do anything. <laughs> so let's see. Hmm, I have something I need to explain. Okay. There's a man named Luca going around kidnapping people, yada yada. Do you know why I'm afraid not? Okay, this is going to sound slightly cliche. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Is there anything that different that changes? Anything that helps? Alrighty. Okay. Let me see. I don't know. I don't know if I can actually beat this guy at all, but I'm going to see if I can at least get a little more damage on him um, before doing anything, which I highly doubt. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Okay. Well, I was taken out. My strategy didn't work. But of course, you know, I don't know why. Of course, she thinks that Mark is the one that set the fire. And is it over now? Yes, it is. Okay. Alrighty. Well, fantastic. Okay, well, there you have it. That is pretty much the full prelude of this game. But anyway, again, this was actually really well polished and it's looking really good so far. Um, I know that this is kind of old, but I mean, a lot of these fan games that I play are kind of old anyway, and sometimes, you know, things just get put on the back burner for whatever reason, but you never know, the developer might still um, have an inkling or an idea of what they would like to do. I really enjoyed that, that was really fun. If you guys wanna go ahead and check this game out for yourselves, links as always are in the description box below. Don't forget, we do have a Discord server, so if you guys wanna go check that out, links as always in the description box below for you that too, and I will be there to greet you, say hello, come on in, make some friends, and post away, and have a really good time. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's little video. Don't forget to do awesome, be awesome, and stay awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye. Um, I think my ass malfunctioned.